Look at them as they fly over the American West, a picture of precision that brings a feeling of pride and admiration to every American. That, in fact, is their mission, to enhance Navy recruiting and to represent the Navy to the public, government leaders, and America's friends and enemies around the world. It's a huge responsibility on just 16 officers and 110 enlisted personnel who make up the Blue Angel Squadron. That's especially true for number one, the boss, who both leads the flight and is commanding officer of the squadron. But it's also true for numbers two through seven, who must all be carrier qualified with a minimum of 1,500 flight hours. Each officer volunteers for Blue Angel's duty. Their efforts are all directed at this. One of the 33 shows performed every year throughout the United States between March and November. In 1996, the Blue Angels brought out more than six million spectators. And altogether, the team has thrilled more than 276 million people since 1946. The precision, both on the ground and in the air, is symbolic of the professionalism of the entire U.S. Navy and, in a larger sense, of the United States itself. This is what's affectionately called Fat Albert Airlines. It's the squadron's support aircraft, a C-130 transport flown by an all-Marine Corps crew of three pilots and six enlisted personnel. The C-130 carries 25,000 pounds of equipment 46,000 pounds of fuel, and a highly trained support staff. These personnel are involved in maintenance, supply, public affairs, administration, an events coordination officer, and a medical department that looks after the medical needs of both officers and enlisted members. The Blue Angel crew is uh, 95 strong, 95 enlisted and 16 officers. And they play a large part of what goes on here for every single air show. The Blue Angels are the oldest jet team in the world, and for 43 years, this crew has never let the American public down. We performed every, each and every air show, never canceling one due to a maintenance problem. So the crew is largely responsible for the success of the uh, Blue Angels. At a number of show sites, Fat Albert demonstrates a jet-assisted takeoff, or JATO. Eight solid fuel rockets attached to the sides of the aircraft help Fat Albert take off in less than 1,500 feet, climb at an angle of 45 degrees, and attain an altitude of 1,000 feet in minimum time. The effect of the JATO rockets is even more spectacular at twilight or at night. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Since 1946, the Blue Angels have had the rare privilege of demonstrating to the American public the precision techniques of naval aviation, hoping to inspire our young men and women to pursue careers in the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The maneuvers you will see demonstrated here this afternoon are coordinated tactical techniques developed by Navy and Marine pilots, both in peacetime training and actual combat. This is the diamond formation coming out of its first forward loop. Today's a good day with unlimited visibility, so the team will be able to fly a high show up to 8,000 feet. If the ceiling was 3,500 feet or less, they would fly a low show with some rolling maneuvers. On really poor days, they do a flat show with no vertical or looping maneuvers. What you're seeing now is a double farvel in which both the leader and the slot machine are inverted. The maneuver was named in 1962 by its inventor, Ken Wallace, after a dog in a Nestle's chocolate television commercial. The next maneuver involves two pairs of aircraft crossing the viewing area from different directions, and then snapping to the vertical with one aircraft crossing the path of the other. With 32,000 pounds of thrust, an F-18 can climb like a rocket, and that's what's being shown by this solo pilot. The climb comes out to an inverted loop, and then a beautifully controlled series of 90-degree stop rolls. 
Everybody that uh, comes here to Blue Angels comes from fleet activities. Any sailor in the fleet could qualify to become a Blue Angel. We like to uh, see top-notch sailors, of course, and there's a, an extensive screening process that goes on. But we like to think that the quality sailor we have here at the Blue Angels represents the same quality sailor we've got in the fleet. An afterburning jet screaming through the sky. The jets may seem just a little cleaner, their salutes a little snappier, and their job just a little more glamorous. But they represent all the men and women of U.S. naval aviation. The most famous formations used by the team are the Echelon Left and Diamond Formation with four aircraft, and the Delta Formation with six. In these positions, the team can do loops and rolls, splitting at altitude into the fleur-de-lis or bomb burst. These maneuvers end with a high-speed multiple crossover at low altitude. Here's the best photo opportunity, the underside and top side of an F-18. And here again is a solo vertical takeoff and climb with a corkscrew roll. Surprisingly, some maneuvers that look hair-raising on the ground are a walk in the park for the pilots who have an entirely different perspective. Others that may look easy on the ground, such as the negative push-out on the inverted pass, or anything but easy to the men in the air. Would a pilot in combat ever do such a stunt? If you engage in dogfighting at high speeds, you have to make bigger turns. The slower your speed, the tighter your turn radius, and the more likely you are to get behind a faster opponent. Actually, of all of the aircraft the Blue Angels have ever flown, the F-18 Hornet is uniquely able to perform the maneuvers you're watching. The reason is not that the Hornet is fast, which it is, but that it's also capable of going slow, which it does. The F-18 has such a tremendous power to weight ratio, it's able to defy the usual rules of aerodynamics and rely on pure power alone. The McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet was developed in the late 1970s as a twin-engine multi-mission tactical aircraft for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. Since it became operational in the early 1980s, over 1,300 Hornets have been delivered worldwide, even to Kuwait after its liberation. The Blue Angels fly the early A model of the aircraft. The Hornet was developed to take advantage of technologies of the future, and therefore the C model became operational in 1987 and gave the Hornet enhanced weapons and a night attack capability. Now, two real crowd pleasers. The mirror pass with one aircraft in normal flight and the other inverted, and the stack roll in which one aircraft amazingly turns into two. Our show today ends with the planes in the so-called dirty configuration with wheels down. Even with this drag, the Blue Angels can fly in diamond formation or over the top in the line abreast loop. No matter what maneuver gets the most attention, there's always something powerful or wonderful to remember. No one leaves disappointed after watching the Blue Angels perform. Here, in one place, is the rare chance to see what civilians so rarely get a glimpse of, the defenders of our nation in their workplace, 